All right, so I went ahead and cleaned up the uh, left side. So now we can get going with the, some of the rest of it. And so the next thing I'm going to look for is how I'm looking on the up and down and the left to right, just the, the weight shift. Be looking at both of this and my hips. Sometimes I'll do this too, where I'll get rid of the animation altogether on something like the hips. Actually, let me backtrack a minute. Okay. Undelete those keys. Just with the keys in between the main poses. There we go. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is while I'm, it's one of those things where I don't care that I have to do that because all I care while I'm working through the animation, while I'm creating the poses, is just getting everything, pushing everything into those poses, not worrying about gimbal lock or not worrying about dirty keys and stuff like that. So, in the end, knowing that, especially for something like this, just like with the weight shift left to right, I can just kind of give it a reapproach it to some degree. Cycling on for everything. In case you've never seen these curve, this these dotted lines before, you can just see it under view infinity and turn them on or off. I turn them on when I'm working on cycles so that I can see how the curves are cycling and to catch little things like this. interesting. Yeah, so first and last key, we're not the same. Okay. No biggie. Okay, so this is interesting, a little thing to bring up. So you see this, you see how, and it's so slight, but whether it makes enough of difference, enough of a difference in this particular one, I'm just gonna use it as an example anyway. So you see how the first key and the last key are flat naturally, most of the time, most of the time naturally. In the cycle, it exits, exits the last key and enters the first key. When you have a, when the second, when the second key and the second to last key are in different values, as far as if one's in negative and the other one's in positive, or one's in positive, the other one's in negative, then you'll tend to get a curve like this, where it's not um, going into and out of the first and last key properly. So you end up getting a little hitch like this. So all I do is shift select both keys, or select both keys, shift select the tangent handles, and do this. Oh, look at that. The little ants are moving. It's like a roller coaster. So it just provides a cleaner, less, um, well, for one, it's cleaner, and it's also, um, it also gets rid of those hiccups that might occur or that will occur. Sometimes it's not even noticeable. It's 
you know, in something like that, it may not have even mattered that I did that, but there are occasions where it will matter a great deal. And if you're not aware of it, you might be searching, you might be trying to track down the problem or add keys in every frame around that area to try and solve it when it's as simple as adjusting a tangent. I bring it up is I just noticed that it was uh, was doing it on this. What is it? This uh... there we go. So let's take a look. 